Be sure to subscribe and click on the bell for notifications on future uploads. Hello everyone, Simon Bart here, or oh, you can call me Zoe. Well, it's nearly Christmas, and I'm about to review something special that I grew up with. A Christmas special which aired on ABC on December 16th, 1987 from Jim Henson Productions. And it is one of my favorite Christmas specials that I put on my top 10 list of my top 10 favorite Christmas specials. Muppet Family Christmas. The Muppets are heading to visit Fozzie Bear's mother for Christmas as a surprise, not knowing that Fozzie's mother, Emily Bear, is going to Malibu while Jerome Crystal, or better known as Doc and his dog Sprocket, become the caretakers of her house. But when Fozzie and the Muppets surprise Emily, she decides to stay and help decorate and get beds ready, despite Doc wanting to spend the holiday alone with Sprocket. And so the Muppets, later on joined by the gang from Sesame Street, start to have a good time at the farmhouse for Christmas, including singing songs, putting on a play, watching home movies, interacting, and Fozzie Bill and the snowman that comes alive and becomes his comedic partner. All the while, our turkey, who is invited by the Swedish chef, tries to avoid being cooked by him and even tricks him with Sprocket and Big Bird. And in the meantime, Miss Piggy is late to the party, as she's been busy with photo shoots and Christmas shopping, only for there to be a big snowstorm coming in, making Kermit worry for Piggy's safety outside. I grew up watching this special on VHS, and while I loved that version a lot, I never realized there was a full version of it until years later when seeing one on YouTube. And I'll just say, the uncut version is one to watch, because while it's the same as the cut version, it has more to it and better context. It's a Muppet musical set during Christmas, and sometimes they work great, and this one's no exception. The reason this full special never re-aired or put on DVD or VHS is due to song licensing issues, and the songs that were omitted were Sleigh Ride, which had some original lyrics making no sense for its removal, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Home for the Holidays, and two during the final Christmas Carol scene, I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day, and Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas as well as a couple of very short scenes. And while the home release versions are great as well, the original version made more sense later on, when it showed things like Fozzie and the Snowman become partners, and what the Muppets did as babies during their first Christmas. But with that said, the songs are all performed very well here. Most of them are the classic and traditional Christmas songs, and only three of them are originals from the Henson Music Library. Pass It On from Fraggle Rock, Together at Christmas from the Christmas Toy, and one of my favorite Muppet holiday songs is in Every One of Us from John Denver and the Muppets A Christmas Together. Yet I can't help that whenever certain songs play, I always think back to this special, since it's where I kind of knew about them. When I hear Jingle Bell Rock plays, I think of Electric Mayhem playing it and Kermit and Robin dancing to it. When I hear We Need a Little Christmas plays, I think of the opening to the special of the Muppets on the Road in a Snowy Flurry. That's kind of how I thought about it. There's running gags in this special too, and they work fine, like the character slipping on an icy patch in Emily Bear's doorway, and Emily calling Kermit a lizard. But the one joke that makes me laugh is when Fozzie and his snowman partner put on a show, only for Stantler and Wardorf to appear as they're friends of Emily who visit her every Christmas. And when the snowman says, Did you ever hear of the church that burned down? Stantler and Wardorf replied with, Holy smokes! and laugh. That bit just gives me a nice laugh. All the interactions between the Muppet, Fraggle Rock, and Sesame Street characters are enjoyable enough, which was odd when I didn't think so at first. Kermit and Robin with the Fraggles, Big Bird giving Sweetest Chef a gift, Rizzo wanting to hang out with Oscar, Cookie Monster taking Janice's cookies, it's all very delightful. And while I do notice a few flaws of this special, I don't bother questioning them because I'm just enjoying this whole special. Like I don't question how Sprocket went from the living room to the kitchen in one cut, or how the Fraggles are the same size as the Muppets, or how Gonzo went from hanging on hangers in his pajamas to being fully dressed for the final in like two minutes. I just roll with it. And there are many fun moments to happen in this special, and not just the songs and character interactions. 
The moments with Piggy from getting her photo shoot to getting caught in the snowstorm. The moments with Animal, seeing the Muppets as babies. The Sesame Street characters performing Twas the Night Before Christmas with Grover as the mouse, Bert as Mama, and the monsters as reindeer. The moments with the snowman of wanting to come in from the cold and making a few jokes. And some of the turkey's antics including hanging out with Camilla. And the actors and Muppet performers did a very nice job. Jim Henson performs Kermit the Frog, Ralph the Dog, Dr. Teeth, the Swedish Chef, Waldorf, the Muppet Newsman, Ernie, Baby Kermit, Baby Rolf, and plays as himself. Frank Oz performs Miss Piggy, Fozzie Bear, Animal, Sam the Eagle, Bert, Grover, Cookie Monster, Baby Piggy, and Baby Fozzie. Jerry Nelson performs Robin the Frog, Emily Bear, Sergeant Floyd Pepper, Count Van Count, Camilla the Chicken, Harry Monster, and Gobo Fraggle. Richard Hunt performs Scooter, Janice, Stantler, Beaker, Kathleen the Cow, Snowman, and Baby Scooter. Dave Gozo performs Gonzo the Great, Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, Zoot, Boober Fraggle, and Baby Gonzo. Steve Whitmire performs Rizzo the Rat, Lips, Wimble Fraggle, Sprocket the Dog, and Christmas Turkey. Carol Spinning performs Big Bird and Oscar the Grouch. Catherine Mullen performs Monkey Fraggle. Karen Pro performs Red Fraggle and Marine the Mink. David Revan voices Piggy's photographer. And Jerry Parks plays Jerome Doc Crystal. As a whole, this special is sweet and wonderful. The characters are great, the story is fun, and the songs being sung are very good. Director Peter Harris had done a lovely job of making a Muppet Christmas special that's all full of holiday goodness, funny moments, and a fun crossover of Jim Henson characters, from Sesame Street to Fraggle Rock. Sure, there are elements that can easily nitpick like continuity errors and an occasional puppet work, but overall I don't question or mention them because the special is so surrounded with a nice Christmas feeling that I can overlook the problems and enjoy the show. Despite it being edited for DVD and VHS due to song licenses, I was very glad to see a full version online after watching it on VHS every year, and I prefer the uncut version over the edited but still great version. It's one of my favorite Christmas specials, and it's still great to see in its full glory. So today, this special will begin a reign of... 4 stars. So thank you for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook or Twitter, support me on Patreon. Till next time for the end of Happy Holidays, and have a Merry Christmas.